Hey everyone, welcome to Art of Your Gear Fusion. It's a uh, tongue twister, kinda. I'm gonna be giving you guys my first impressions of the game, and we'll be starting with the UI. So initially, I, w I was not liking the UI. I, w I initially played this um, in my smartphone. It's a small phone. It's a um, Huawei 5T, I think, Nova 5T. And it's very small. So if you have a small phone, definitely you're going to enjoy this. You're going to enjoy this more on a bigger phone, a tablet, or even an emulator like what I am having right now. So I'm using LD Player. By the way, this is not a paid promotion. I am just happy with LD Player because um, it rarely crashes. And I haven't had a crash, I think. Uh, so far since I've been playing it here. So I'm playing it in my emulator in my laptop or I'm playing it in my iPad. So again, UI is crazy detailed. So you're going to be have to you're, you're going to have to use this on a bigger screen. OK, so uh, UI again, all details are here. There are a lot on your screen to understand, but eventually you'll get a hang of it. So hang in there, guys. So we're going to take a look at um, our login events. So far, I've been happy with the login events. It has fueled my one day so play by the rewards here, the pre mission briefing. Um, gonna the beginner supplies are also good. You're gonna be getting, or you already got Morris, so life will be better for you guys when you get Morris. I got Morris on my first day, so I'm gonna be get. I already got her um additional uh, what they call this copy. Daily login is here. So far, I'm I'm kind of okay with the daily logins. It is what it is. Hardworking login reward. Another login reward for us. This is the additional. I think the hardworking maid login reward. This is a skin, not him made skin. Then boarding celebration reward. So overall login rewards are kind of good. Let's go to the graphics and the design. Well, the graphics are very clean, very, 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 very nice. Uh, one thing that I'm, you know, I'm... I'm, I look at in the game whether when I see the game, I'm pretty much happy with what I'm looking at. So the graphics, the design looks clean. Um, uh, let's go to the AGs, okay? So this is where you, you what do you call this? You appreciate the graphics or the design of the game because when it comes to the lower rarities, like for example, Foxy, it's it, it's not your generic ones that you know most games have in terms of lower rarities they they put a generic copies of minions or low rarities but this one i like it i like it because they put time into creating a good good visual um, visual image of even for the lower rarities so again how complex the design is for even the three stars so this is where I like it Mar Margo is also on par angel she's like a um, a Android angel so again uh, the graphics very clean and I really really like it the waifus I really really appreciate um again one i think one of the best that i've seen th this actually um merges both what i like in a game uh waifus plus mecha so this really hits the hits the head and nail for me so um and i noticed that there are a lot of cat ears here so for those who are loving cat ears this is going to be the game for you guys and a lot a lot a lot of cat ears even even mechanical cat ears so again the design very appreciative of the design of what they put out um i'm not sure if if their 2d art for the individual ags are going to be animated but um i'm actually okay already with uh, this one being animated so i'm just gonna go back to um, not you i'm just gonna go back to yours your home screen and i am loving 
this easy switch of wallpaper, easy switch of waifus. Definitely one of the one of my most liked features in this game. Um, <laughs> it's really nice. It's really nice. It, once you get bored, you switch to another. You can slot in five waifus at a time as your default wallpaper and just you know scroll through them on what your mood today is if it's a monday a wednesday or a friday you can change wallpapers it doesn't really you know get have much effort so as you collect more waifus you're gonna be doing a lot of switching here so let's go to the game as it is so uh, before that your energy is this one um when you add energy when if you have no, no energy anymore um it's good if you if you have these these uh canisters of energy but if you don't have them you're going to be forced to use your forging crystal which honestly i don't like because the, your forging crystal is part of is part of your summon currency and um it <laughs> I, this is w what I don't like actually in games wherein they mix both for energy and your in your summon what do you call this your summon currency okay so we are back there was a bit of a lag there when I switched screens so I'm not sure if it's in my system or it, it's the emulator's fault but uh, we're back so again the energy system just want to go back to it i don't like that they're using this the, the the summon currency to buy your energy don't like that a bit um anyway let's move on to the main story and um, just want to give you guys something to <clears throat> um something to what they called it to take note in terms of farming so as you can see here there is a ai combat which is your repeat system this is not a ticket system it's it's okay actually i i'd rather have this than none at all so this is okay if this was a ticket system wherein you could auto finish everything because you've done it before then it would be better but this is an auto repeat system okay so let's do one battle here because I wanted to point out as well two things during battle which one I like, one I do not like. Okay, so um, okay, so let's do the manual thing first. Number one is when you do an auto battle, I would suggest if you're just farming to attack the boss first so that you can clear it faster because when you reach the wave three, then they attack the boss. You will, you don't need to take out the other two guarding the boss. So that is one that I think uh, is good in you know in in this one. And the one thing that I don't like is also this one. The let's let's do the the auto battle first because we need to if we want to activate this one. This is your kind of your reinforcement. Um, this has to fill up before you can use this. But when you are in auto, you cannot use it. So that's, so as you can see there, you've been pressing, we're, we're still at, uh, okay, wave, we're at wave two. So we're full, but you can't use it during auto. So you have to go out of auto and um, there you go. So you need to select and go, and go back to auto again. So th that is what I, I hate. I, I They should have put that, included that in the auto battle as well. The, the, the selection for that one. So that I think they should do in the future. But for now, it's kind of okay. So that's what this is what you call... Um, kind of your, your reinforcement from the fleet. So, again, as you see there, auto kill the boss because you've set auto battle for the boss and we're done. So, let's go out of here and um, go back to our home screen. Okay, so for the home screen again, so you have your, your store. So far, there are a few that stand out here for the store. I think the monthly pass is good at four ninety nine. 
This one is also good if you are trying to receive for 10 days while logging in. This is also good. But again, discern yourself um, if you want to purchase something or not, uh, if you're on a budget or not. So that is where the supply. So they have good um, they have good uh, packs. They have bad packs. So again, it's really up to you whether you want to purchase or not. For the recruit... Okay, so for the recruit, the the pity system is at 200 pulls. And what I like about this is for every 10 pull, at least you're guaranteed one four, one four star. So I think this applies to every banner. And um, they haven't put here a... Here's a drop rate. So the drop rate is at 0.7%, which is, I think, very low. So 0.7%, that's very low. So even for the f other four stars, it's, it's at 0.12. Okay, so 0.7 is less than 1% and drop rates are very low. So that is what I'm saying. So the three star, of course, is at 84%. So again, drop rates, not really good pt system yeah we, we have a pt system at 200 and you get a four star every 10 pulls which is kind of like so 88 let's do let's do um a one pull here so that we could round this out to 90 i think i'm i i'm due to get a four star here so recruit again so just gonna round this up to 90 or I already got that four star. Yeah, here's the four star. It's Kathy. So skip. So again, it's good that they're guaranteeing a four star for every 10 pulls. So that is it for recruit. And um, so far, if you guys are asking me if this game is free to play, so far I'm saying it's yes. I think it's yes. Um, you don't really have to buy anything. If you're itching to buy something, you can actually... Um, just wanna just wanna highlight this, um, this one. If you're itching to buy something, um, there is a there is a first purchase reward here. Uh, when you buy at least four dollars and ninety nine cents, the what I got from there is a five star. Uh, which is ghost. So there is a pool, and the one of one of them is ghost. Um, I got her from there. Uh, if you try to purchase that, try getting this one, the Prime Membership. If you want to spend only this one, then you can spend this one, guys. So Forging Crystal, and this is Forging Crystal for 30 days, which is 3,000, which is an additional two summons. So this is not bad. This is actually very good. So And, and plus, you'll be getting a free 5-star for that $4.99 purchase. So... That is what I'm recommending. If you don't want to spend more than that, then it's okay. And even if you don't want, if you, even if you don't want to spend that, it's okay. Again, the game right now is free to play, uh, friendly. We'll see down the line because right now, of course, it's it's the honeymoon phase. So what do you expect? So again, right now it's very free to play, friendly. PvP. I still haven't gotten myself to playing much of PvP. I only played once. Obviously, PvP is is um, worked around speed of your turn. So build your PvP teams based around speed and damage as well. High damage, high speed. That is it for PvP. And what else? I think this game is pretty, pretty nice. Um, at this point, I don't have any major gripes about the game. I love what they're doing here in terms of art. The art really pops out, literally. <laughs> Just wanna, don't want to say more about the art. Oh, Dark-skinned waifu. Um, really, really nice. And Archer Babe here. And you have Ghost. So that is it, guys. So far, this game has piqued my interest. Definitely going to be making a lot of guides for this game together with Figure Fantasy and with Alchemy Star. So now I have three games to pulled out guys for you and hopefully you guys will help me by subscribing to my channel because again this really helps me a lot thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here